Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you a fun two-tone box. So it is literally using just two colours that I thought coordinated really well. So I've used Granny Apple Green and Gorgeous Grape for this one. Um, and I'll show you how to make it with Blushing Bride and Bermuda Bay. So I've used, a, used the G's on this one and the B's on this one. So let's get doing some scoring. So you need two pieces of cardstock, um, one that is eight by three inches, which is 20 by seven centimeters, and one that is eight by two inches, which is 20 by five centimeters. On your eight by three, on the short side, we're going to score at half an inch and two and a half, which will be one and six centimeters. We're then going to rotate it, it doesn't matter which way, and then we're going to score on the long side at one, three, five, and seven inches, which will be two and a half, seven and a half, twelve and a half, and seventeen and a half inches. On the eight by two, we are going to score exactly the same on the long side at one, three, five, and seven, which is two and a half, seven and a half, twelve and a half, and seventeen and a half. That's the simple bit. The measurements will be on my blog, so don't panic if you didn't get them. And then we're going to just go along and score, sorry, and fold and burnish those score lines on both pieces. And then with your piece that has the long strips either side, we're going to start off by, at the bottom, doesn't matter which side, left or right, we're going to repeat it on both. We're going to cut away this first rectangle here. And then on the next one, we're going to create a wedge. Then on the centre one, we're going to cut that one away completely. And then on the next one up, we're going to cut a wedge and then we're going to cut the little bit away. OK, so you're left with this. So we're going to do exactly the same on the opposite side. So we're going to cut away the first rectangle, make a tab out of the second, cut away the middle one. Create a tab with the next and cut away the rectangle. Okay, so you should be left with that shape when you've finished. Then we're going to pop this piece onto the middle here, but because they're the same size, when you come to close this up, you're not going to be able to very well because it's the same size and it's going to buckle. So all I did was I got my scissors and I cut out of the middle square just a very thin sliver, literally just a sliver. It's not noticeable because it's inside the box, but it will make it a lot easier when you come to fold it up. So let's get some seal plus on the bottom of this one. Come on, where are you? There we go. So seal plus on the bottom of there. And then I'm just going to line it up. So I'm lining my vertical score lines here with the score lines on my Blushing Bride. Just like so. And I've lined that up with the horizontal score line too. Press that down and flip it over. You then want to add your DSP and these are one and three quarter by one and three quarter squares which is four and a half by four and a half centimeters and then you're just going to pop them on the four sides of your cube 
and these are from the bright and the blushing bride is from the subtle um, range. Got it stuck to my thumb now. Oops, that's not very straight, is it? Oh dear. I'll have to hide that one at the back. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in my gorgeous detailed um, trio punch and I'm just going to round all of these corners from the inch squares that we had. The ones with the tabs, if you just tuck them in, there's still plenty of room to get the punch in there. Last ones. This is the last one to do here. There we go. Okay, so that's all that done. Now I need to add my adhesive onto my tabs here. So I'm just going to run. <laughs> if it'll actually start. There we go. run this along there oops getting stuck to it and then you're just making it up like you would any other box really so we're just putting these sides together lining them up one Took that one on there and then to close the top up I've just put them down alternatively and then we need to just tuck this pink one just underneath there we go so it's like that and then I've used some of the flowers for every season ribbon and I didn't want to have that cross over at the bottom because you know how when you do the ribbon, when you do it the normal way like this, you obviously end up with that bulky bit at the bottom and I didn't want that because obviously my box wouldn't sit straight. So what I did was I made a belly band initially. Where's my scissors? So... So I just simply made a belly band and I'm just going to put some of my Seal Plus on my ribbon. Goodness me. <laughs> and then pop it on the top. Wrap it around making sure it's not twisted. Or sticking to your grid paper or you. Oh my goodness. And then... Just obviously make sure it's lined up and press it together. I just found I've got an extra bit here that's just going to stick everywhere so I'm just going to roll that off. There we go. Right. So line those two up, press them together so it's got a nice little belly band and then this one will go the opposite way now to make a pretty bow and that is it but this this ribbon is absolutely superb to make a bow with I probably spoke too soon now because it isn't going to go right but I have actually made the best bows with this ribbon so far Let's try again. There we go. Look at that bow. Do you see what I mean? 
it is such an easy ribbon to make a bow with. So anybody that struggles with bows, seriously have a go with this ribbon because it's beautiful. Right, I'm not going to play anymore. Cut those, <coughs> excuse me, cut those down. It's time for a cup of tea. That's the problem. <laughs> and there you have it. Two-tone, really cute little cute boxes. I hope you like them. I hope it's inspired you to make something else. Have a great day and I hope to see you soon. Bye.